So I get I didn't go to practice. My mother was a tough. My mom and dad. My, my my mom and dad was the biggest. I mean, that's the biggest motivation, inspiration in, in, in my athletic career and in my life. I, I always wanted to make them proud. And so they were here to see me play and that weekend. And so my mother was real concerned. She said, you, you need to call, you need to do it. I said, guys, this is Saturday morning practice. It's no big deal. I said, you know, it's all good. Trust me, I was all good. Just go in and you walk, you know, you walk around, walk through some plays and you watch it. Field, go home. As a matter of fact, family can be family, friends can come out and watch this practice. So over here, she was really concerned. So I get to the street uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, and there's a note on my locker that says, Go see Coach Landry. Oh. <laughs> you can only imagine that I went, Oh. oh. <laughs> so I walked back to the coach's locker room, and he asked me, What happened? What happened? And I said, Coach, we were talking about the storm. You know, my alarm was off, and I said, by the time, and by the time, Coach, when I woke up, by the time for me, the time it would take for me to be home and get there, everybody would have been off, already gone anyway. So I decided not to, not to come. So he looks at me and says, uh, you're not going to start, and you probably won't play. And I said, Coach, I have to play. I said, my mom and dad have come a long way to see me. They've been the biggest inspiration, motivation in my life. I have to. And he says, he says, you're not going to start, and you probably won't play. And I said, well, coach, I've seen other players. This is Saturday morning practice, and they had no problem starting or playing. He said, I'm going to tell you something about the difference between those players and you. He said, those players had enough respect for their teammates and their coaches to call, to let someone know. What they, were, what they were at and what they were doing. You show no respect for your for your teammates or your coaches. And he says, you're not going to start, and you're probably going to play. <laughs> okay? And when Coach Randy says, okay, real fast, in the, com in the conversation. Right. I looked at him, and my eyes, I, I mean, I had, been, I was, I was so teary-eyed, and I said, "Coach, I got one." It was like, I don't know if you guys ever heard in sports. You, you ever hear Terrell Sprewell? I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it, but I said, "No, you better not do that, man." Terrell, the basketball player. Terrell Sprewell, yeah. When he got in the fight, he, he grabbed his coach and choked his coach. <laughs> 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 It would not have been a good career for you. <laughs> but it taught me a very valuable lesson. Life lesson. It's like if he can't count on me to show up for a little nothing practice, how can he count on me during the heat of the battle? And from that point on, I said, you know, I gotta hold myself accountable. And it, it really taught me. But Tom Landry trusts a lot of guys' lives. You know, he worked us so hard at times that we looked at that man and like we just wanted to just jump on. A lot of guys probably wanted to jump on. Because he just drove us, but you know what he did? He made us better players. He made us better players. And, and, and for people to say, we, we were right at the end of the game, putting our hands up, the four fingers up, fourth quarter, fourth quarter. A lot of guys are dead, other teams. But we were well conditioned. And, he, and you know, he, he just meant so much, so much to all of us. And, you know, anytime you got a guy that's a God fear man like he is, you can't find too much wrong. Although you, you do need to know this before Andrew tells us about Hank.